Hey guys, so today I thought it would be fun to shoot a get ready with me video featuring a no makeup makeup look. Um, this tends to be my everyday go-to makeup look if I am wearing makeup. Um, I really just want to focus on perfecting my skin and reducing any kind of overall redness or pigmentation issues. And then of course focusing on creating a really pretty polished brow and a pop of color on the cheek. So this is going to be pretty simple and just really natural. This truly is just like my everyday go-to makeup routine. And I'm getting ready, it's Monday morning, and this is what I would typically do if I were to wear makeup. So here we go, and let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I always like to start with a primer. Um, even if I'm not creating a dramatic makeup look, I really think primer does make a difference or at least moisturizer right before your makeup application. So I have been loving Honest Beauty's Everything Primer. Um, it has a little bit of mica in it and it has a gold undertone. So it does a nice job at cutting away any kind of redness or discoloration and just giving the skin a really pretty subtle glow. So I'm just going to press this on over bare skin. I already moisturized my skin about 10 minutes ago, so this is just going right over it. And then if you are short on time and you need to um, apply an eye cream but you don't have one nearby, you could simply also use your primer. I love to use Honest Beauty's primer along the orbital bone too because this helps to prep for concealer, which I will apply in a little bit. So. And then what I like to do is I actually like to take Honest Beauty's Elevated Hydration Mist. You're gonna notice I'm using a lot of Honest Beauty. I love the product range and I think it's great. So it does really take up quite a bit of my makeup kit, my everyday makeup kit. So I'm gonna shake this up. And this is actually botanical based and it contains hyaluronic acid. So it does a really nice job at plumping the skin and giving an instant drink of water. So really a um, nice fresh scent, floral scent, um, and it feels really great on the skin. So that goes on next, followed by foundation. So um, sometimes I'll do a tinted moisturizer. Um, I rarely just do a powder. I do like my coverage, but I also want it to look natural. So once again, with another favorite of mine, Honest Beauty, this is their Everything Cream Foundation. My shade is linen this time of the year. Um, I'm probably gonna go up a shade in the summertime. And I'm just going to buff this on starting around the center part of my face using my Sigma Beauty F80, which is my go-to foundation brush. So the key is just to apply a really light layer, and I'm focusing on the areas that I tend to be a little bit more discolored. So where I have a little bit more redness, that's where I focus the application on. So I'm just going to blend this out and make sure I have a nice light even coating along the complexion. So now that my foundation is on, notice it's just a nice light layer. I've evened out the skin tone. Now I still need a little extra help. So I'm going back into another product from Honest Beauty. It's their Balanced Beige Dual Concealer. And it has two shades to it. The lighter side is really great for underneath the eyes. And then the slightly deeper shade is great for anywhere else on the complexion that you need to cover. Or you could simply just mix and match the two together. So I love using my fingertips to apply the concealer underneath my eyes. I think the warmth of your fingertips often works nicely to blend out color and also just to kind of warm up the product. So it kind of creates a buttery texture and I use a buff and roll method when I apply. So it's kind of like I'm patting and then I'm buffing and rolling to make sure that there's not too much excess product on my skin. And then just remember, it's like all about light layers. So if you are creating even a more dramatic look or a natural look, start with less. You can always add more as you go along. Okay, so just real quick, I'm going to take the darker shade, which is right here. And I'm going to take my Sigma Precision Flat Angled P. This one is P88. And this is actually where I'm going to apply a little bit around the chin, where I have a little bit of redness and some post breakout marks and discoloration. I'm just going to pat that in and also just take it around my nose because often in the winter if I'm blowing my nose or breathing I often just get a little bit of redness around that area too. And then any other area on my skin that I feel like maybe needs a little extra help or I have a little bit of redness I'm just going to pat that in. 
Okay, once again, going back to Honest Beauty, um, I can't get enough of this line. I think all their products are awesome and they're very reasonably priced. So they have the Everything Palette, which I absolutely love. I got this over the holidays. I use this um, almost every day or at least um, several times a week. I love this shade right here. This is a cream blush. This is what I'm going to pop right on the apples of my cheek. This one is truly thrilling and it's kind of like a mid-tone pink. Um, with a neutral undertone. It's such a pretty safe color too if you don't want to go too bright and you want something that's just nice for every day. So I'm actually going to take my Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush in F15. This brush works really great with any kind of powder or cream product. And I'm just going to pop the cream blush along the apples of my cheek, kind of working out a little bit towards the edges of my ear. And this just creates a really nice natural looking flush that is realistic looking and just, you know, looks healthy and also begins to bring some color back into my complexion, which is much needed. Okay, so now that that's complete, I'm going to move on to my brows. You guys have seen me fill my brows before. It's an arduous task, I kid you not, but um, the product that I use that I've also been obsessed with is Honest Beauty Brow Filler in Dark Blonde. I should just call this an Honest Beauty Get Ready With Me tutorial. I swear there's other products, there's a few other products that aren't Honest Beauty in this, but um, it's just been my go-to. So I'm gonna fill them in and I'm gonna brush them up first just to give them some shape and then I'm gonna start filling them in from the kind of forward middle area underneath my brow and then just focus a little bit more here. I'm gonna skip over this because you guys have seen this time and again and I will not bore you with it. So I'll be right back. And already I feel like a different person with my eyebrows on. I swear if I could only have three products that I could like have in my makeup kit, it would be cream blush, concealer, and brow pencil for sure. Okay, so let's move on. Moving on to eyeshadow and because this is like a no makeup makeup look, um, I'm really sticking with light neutral tones that just kind of emulate the natural look of the eyes. So nothing crazy contoured no dark colors. I'm actually using my Lily Lolo palette and this is the Laid Bare eyeshadow palette. I love this. This has been a go-to of mine for at least the past year. All the colors are just so pretty and neutral and the pigments aren't super heavy so they're very easy to work with and blend. So I'm actually going to take the two lightest shades that you have here um, that, I ha that I have here actually on this side of the palette and using my Armani blender brush I'm just going to take the two and then just sweep it across my entire lid and then blend outward across the eyelid. Okay, so this is just creating a nice bright sweep of color from inner corner to outer edge, super easy. After that, also a crucial step for me that makes the biggest difference, curling my lashes. So I'm going to take my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler and just give the lashes just a nice gentle bump and curl. This makes a difference right away and it's also a really great step prior to mascara because it makes all the difference and just gives the eyes a brighter look and it makes the lashes look longer. Okay, after the lashes are curled, I'm going in with my mascara and lo and behold, it's Honest Beauty again. So this is their Truly Lush Mascara. This mascara rocks for length and definition. They've actually been out of stock for a little while. Um, I love it because it's a two-in-one. So you have a primer on one side and the mascara on the other. So I'm going to begin by creating a light coat with primer along the top lashes only. And then I'm going to give it about 30 seconds to dry before I continue and apply the mascara end. So this also helps to condition the lashes and just gives them a nice silky smooth base prior to the actual mascara application. Okay, once the primer is semi-dry, I'm going into the mascara side and I'm just going to literally almost like blink into the mascara and wiggle it from the roots of the lashes moving up. And this creates really great definition and also builds the base to your lashes. So you wanna make sure that when you are applying your mascara, you're taking your time and really wiggling into the roots of the lashes. This will create a nice definition and more of a voluminous effect too, especially when you have barely their lashes, such as myself. Okay, so next up will be bronzer. I almost never really skip bronzer, but I don't go crazy with it. I'm going to use my Crown 
Jumbo Kabuki Fan Brush. This is the SS023. And then I'm going to use my Too Faced Matte Powder Bronzer. This is the shade Medium Deep. Um, I love this bronzer. It's the perfect neutral. Um, and it's not too orangey. It doesn't look gray on the skin. Totally natural. So, And I like that it's matte as well. So there's no shimmer. It just looks a little bit more realistic. And then I'm just going to sweep the bronzer into gently into the hairline and then down a little bit across the forehead. This begins to kind of contour and then create a little bit of that sun-kissed effect that really should look realistic and should look overdone, especially for a no makeup makeup look. And then I'm gonna sweep a little bit of bronzer right underneath that cream cheek color just to sculpt a little bit more. Even it out on the other side. And then one last place, sometimes I'll pop a little bit across my chin, and then sometimes even whatever's left over down the bridge of my nose. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the bronzer. An optional other spot that you can actually pop a little bit of bronzer onto is the crease of the eye. So if I just wanted to create a little bit more, a tiny bit definition right there, using, this is actually my C43 Pro Blending Fluff Brush from Crown as well. I'm just gonna create a super natural looking contour right there in the crease of the eye. Love using bronzer for this because it just kind of marries the entire look together. And also this really pretty earthy matte color looks really nice as a subtle eyeshadow shade that kind of warms up the eye. So love that little trick. So what, once that is done, I'm gonna move on to lips. And then for like a no makeup everyday, low maintenance look, I just apply some gloss or even a lip balm. So this time around, I'm going to use Vapor Organic Beauty. The shade is Honor. It's a really pretty golden medium pink. And I'm just gonna sweep this along the lips, top and bottom, and press lips together. I love this one because it's super hydrating. It feels like almost like a lip oil when you put it on and it creates a really healthy looking sheen. And so this is the final look. So this is like a quintessential no makeup makeup look. This is my go-to weekly makeup look that's low maintenance and easy to recreate, but also makes a really nice difference. So I'm going to list all the products down below. If you enjoyed this video, please definitely give it a thumbs up, comment, like, share, all that jazz. So thank you guys so much. Have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye.